Tell me when you're pressing. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, it's Carmel with Connie Hudson Senior Community Center. Uh, we are coming back to do some more Zentangle today. And I thought I would show you the finished product at first. We are going to be making a bunch of circles. I picked this little top right here to use. Make things simple and we're going to overlap them. And where you can see we overlap, we put a different shape or series of shapes in there to create this little tangle and this cool little look. So let's get started. All right, I have these little pins right here. These are Microcon pins. Um, they come in different widths. Here's a three, a five, and an eight. I'm gonna start with the five. And I also have a Sharpie to color in some of these areas back here. So to begin, let you can put circles anywhere you want. Let's start one here. This is why we're gonna use this shape to make things really simple. If it doesn't connect really well, you can just come in with your pen and connect it. Let's come over here and draw some more. Might need to change pens. This one's giving me some issues. Let's do that. All right, we're gonna cross over here. You are welcome to come off the page. You can do three, you can do five. Whatever you feel like doing. I think we're gonna go with four right here. So, once you get your shapes drawn in, then we're gonna look and we're gonna say, hey, let's come in right here and let's make some of those little rainbows. So we're just gonna come like this. It doesn't matter if they are perfect. It doesn't matter how they go. Just get them in there so that we can continue on. So we're gonna fill in this whole area with these little rainbows. They almost look like fish scales. And we have some more. You can kind of change it up, change how high they go, how wide they are. Everything different you do just makes it a little more interesting. And then when you come back, we can say, hey, let's put some lines in here. Let's change it up a little bit. This is just fun doodling is what we're doing here. There is no right or wrong. We're just doing it. And we'll put some in here. We'll come here. We'll come here. Now you can pick wherever you want to go. I'm going to say, hmm, let's come right here and let's just follow the shape of the circles and create, I guess it's like a, a wonky looking rectangle. You can come in and make the edges a little bit longer if you like. I kind of like things like that. Then we're going to come over here and say, hey, let's make some of these. This is kind of like a little caterpillar you used to draw in school. That's all there is to it. You can make them as big as wide. Again, it doesn't matter. The bigger you go, the more space you fill up. And you don't have to do all of this stuff at the same time. You can always put it down if you start getting tired and pick it up later. This is a wonderful way to fill your time get creative and relax a little bit. And we can come in here and, and let's add some little wavy lines just to fill that little space in. And we wanna carry it over here. And remember, you can turn the page as you go. It makes it easier to do things. This is one that I think is kind of fun, is to start right here in this little corner and just bring these lines out like this. I guess that's like a radius. And once you get in there with those, you can kind of come and you can make a diagonal line down and then make one up 
down again, up, and proceed till you fill them all in. Down, up, down, up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sharpie because it covers a little bit better. And we're just gonna come in here and pick where you wanna start and fill one of these in. And we're gonna alternate so that we're not gonna have black on black. It'll be black, white, black, white. Any patterns that you have, any things you like to draw that are just kind of fun would be um, great to fill in some of these other areas with. Looks like I need to cut that one off, but that's all right. We'll just cut it right there. Make one smaller there. So, as you can see, you can make any counter pattern you want. This is our final product we're going for, and I hope you guys have fun creating your own Zentangle. See you next Monday. Bye.